and it um well there it is guys um I'm gonna be doing a review so it's gonna be fun well yeah um, it's gonna be a review from one of the best games through one of the best consoles ever okay so you guys stay right there I'll be right back video and this is like a lot of my name but show tell you that game I recommend you get it off of eBay or something and I wrote on it so whenever I uh, get it off game I stack it too. I recommend you guys getting this game. This game is one of the greatest games of May. Now I want to be Tui but I <laughs> my dad this is the only one they had. Some game I went to my dad went to weird games with the cells and Nintendo games. They didn't have Banjo Tooie, so I, I did see the original game, Banjo Kazooie One. He bought it for me, and it was like fifteen dollars or something, fifteen ninety nine. I don't know. But it was made in um, Rareware in nineteen ninety eight. So it's very fun, old, but hey. I really can't recommend you guys get this game. This game is crazy. This game is one of the best games because it was on its way back then. If it, if it wasn't, then I wouldn't buy it. But I'm a banjo because of the So this game was the best. Rareware did the best job on it. Rareware, I really like how you did it. This is one of the best. Recommend. I'm, I want you guys to get this. This game is awesome. Please, um, you get nine levels, but you get Monk's Mountain, Treasure Trove Cove, Clanker's Cavern, all of that. And my favorite, my personal favorites are the final battle, which is going to kill her battle. When she falls down, the tower, um, Breezy Easy Peaks, Gurley's Valley, and Noble's Mountain, and Treasure Trove Cove. So that's like four, I think. Um, so I got this a long time ago, in um, November. Right now, it's in December. So I got, I thought t yesterday was Christmas Day. I thought it would be Banjo Chewy, but it's okay. I still like this game. I recommend you guys buy it. A lot. This game is one of the seriously best games in history. History! <laughs> Because if you don't get it, you've been laying under a rock. If you never bought this game and you never bought it when you even know about Banjo Kazooie 1, you've been laying under a rock. Like Gruntilda, when she ended up under there, like in Banjo Tooie, when in Banjo Kazooie. This game, then she was in Banjo Tooie. When I get Banjo Tooie, I'll do a review on that. I have nothing bolts and grunts or until this revenge. What we're doing in the views. The iron and when you guys get this, um so yeah, it was me it was I think it was copyrighted in nineteen ninety eight. I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know like the year so much, but I reckon I recommend you guys buy this game because this game cost fifty bucks and it, it I think it's because Angel is still popular. He came on the Xbox now. Song because okay, here's the banjo rare rare change your name to rare to put it on Xbox Live Arcade. Banjo's popular, that's why. First was in Banjo Kazooie 1, Banjo 2, Banjo, yeah, all of that. He came on Nintendo all the way to Xbox, even the new one that came out last year in 2008. 2009, yeah, Nuts and Bolts is one of them, is another one. But it's so violent. I'll be doing a video on that. It's really violent. Banjo came to be game violent. But this game, okay, it takes place mostly in Gruntilda's lair. Which, 
you have to pass all nine levels, collect all the jiggies, collect not all 900 notes. And each wall does 100 notes. Collect them all? You could go, I don't know, but this game is really fun. You could go through lots of note doors, like when you see ding pot, there's doors around it. You'll need those notes to use. For eggs, gold feathers, red feathers, um, life, lives, like, you could get double health. So, yeah, you could do all sorts of things in this game, like in Banjo 2. Banjo 2, well, it was a little bit of a messed up collection, but it's still great adventure. Like, this game is not as great as this game. Like, this game is how it all started, how the Banjo what did his first adventure, I think it was his first adventure, I don't know. Um, this, um, is a great game, because, I don't know, I was a Banjo fan, when I first, okay, when I first knew Banjo, is when my brother was born in 19, um, my brother was 13, he was born in 1996, so, he had Banjo Kazooie 1 for a long time. He didn't, he never got Banjo 2 yet, I don't know why, but, um, yeah, I've seen him play it before, because he kept it for a long time, and I've seen him play Banjo Kazooie 1. This game, I recommend you guys buy this game, because this game, if it was uh, the worst game, don't get it, but it, it is the greatest game in mankind. It is, because when I first got this game, I loved it a lot. And when I first knew Banjo and I saw my brother playing Banjo Kazooie 1, it looked fun. And I wanted the game when I was older, but I was young. I was really like a baby, so I couldn't play video games until now. So I, it's been a long time since I knew Banjo and my brother. But when he saw him playing with some bolts, he's like, he'd be like, hey, that looks familiar. Because he played this game before, he played Banjo Kazooie. So he probably would So he, that's why he said it. It's familiar. Um, now, this game has Gruntilda in it, which I always wonder what he, what the original looking Gruntilda looked like in this one, but probably terrible. But this game is massive. <laughs> Seriously, lots of mini games. You could get cheat codes. Like, okay, go in the Banjo's house, look at the bottles picture if you collect enough jigsaw puzzles. Oh, what? If you play on um, mini games to get prizes like cheat codes or the ice key. Um, you could get eggs automatically or um yeah. <coughs> this game is long. Okay, first level. More levels to keep going. Hey, it gets so hard. Okay, let me tell you the negative things. The negative things. Okay. What a, a lot of notes you die, you have to start over with notes. So go back to zero. But when but when Bottle says you have a high score of notes, like way you got a high score of notes, you could keep the notes and they'll put them with your notes collection. So yeah, and the jig jigsaw pieces like the jiggies are really important too. Cause you'll need them to unlock worlds. <laughs> if you so yeah, I didn't get this in a box in a box with any of my dad bought this. It was a loose game. But that's okay, I already know all about banjo. I know the moves like the beat buster and all that. Um the drill's not in this game. The drill in banjo too, eh? which is all guys probably know already. Um This game is pretty neat. I really like it. Basically it was one of my favorite games. Yeah. Um got this a long time ago. So this game is awesome. Get this game. It's one of the best. Because it's a little better than Nuts and Bolts and all those other ones like Banjo 2. Um, you know, somehow, like ban you know Banjo Boy? If you don't, well, he has a Banjo 3 for GameCube. And I think that's freak. I just wonder how they make it look so real. I don't know how Banjo Boy can do that. He probably um printed it and took out um a paper out of the box, like slide it out paper and put it in there. I don't know how he did that. I don't like 